loves a moose. Everybody loves a moose. Everybody loves a moose. But not everybody loves to go looking for a dog with a moose. Ridiculous, man. Who ever heard of anyone go looking for a dog with a moose? It's in the bag, Dave. The Duchess's dog has gone missing, like he always does at dog show time. If I find him in time for the show, the Duchess will share the prize money with me. We're talking new board, man. With this beautifully boxed and luxury irresistible dog treat, that new board's as good as mine. This place must be full of secret doors and passages. Oh, there you are. I'm going to take my beauty nap. When I wake up, I want to see my dog. Sure thing, lady. This dog treat's sure to attract him. <gasps> Whatever. Just find me fluffy and don't wake me up. Huh? Now, antlers with the ribbons from my box hanging on them. Well, that can only mean one thing. I'm trying to find the Duchess's dog with a moose. He's eating the dog treat. You like him too, eh, Jackler? Tasty, but absolutely no use for finding dogs. The mooses eat them. It's their brain food. Oh, got an idea. Dog finder moose extraordinaire to the rescue! Lady, it's all under control. Fluffy! We'll get him back. Please go back to sleep now. gonna have to get me out of here, Jackler. Seems like I'm stuck. You're stuck, Moose. What about me? I could have caught that dog. With my beautifully boxed and luxury irresistible dog treat, except I didn't. And why? Moose Extraordinaire came along and ruined everything, Moose. Everything. <laughs> You're right, Jackster. You're right. I'm not a dog finder extraordinaire. I can never find anything, in fact. Except maybe those luxury irresistible dog treats. And then only when they're stuck right under my nose. Oh, I'm a bad moose. A bad moose. And now, look. Why? 
didn't mean to spoil things, I guess. In fact, I guess you were probably just doing your best. Until... That dog knows she's got my board! And watch, lady. I just had to go in. Fluffy, you look terrible. You're an absolute disgrace. No way will I take you to the dog show. This moose, on the other hand, is so moosey. <laughs> I'll take you instead. We'll share the prize, Maggie. But first, we need to decorate your antlers. And Oh, Jackie! I don't like this! I told Jackie! Dance your right on my board, Fluffy! <laughs> everybody loves a moose! But not everybody loves to cook nachos for a witch with a moose! Ridiculous man! of anybody cooking nachos for a witch with a moose. It's in the bad day. That trainee witch who lives in the old castle has finally passed her witchcraft course. I'm making her nachos to celebrate, man. If I can get into good books, she'll spell me up so I'm tall enough to go on the big rides in the fairground. <laughs> No, Dave. I won't bump my head on the moon. Dear human child, I'm tired of out from studying, but I've set my alarm for half past nine when I want my nachos. <laughs> Don't meddle with anything magical. Nachos, good spells. No nachos. Trouble. <laughs> Twenty minutes. Should be a stitch. Tortillas, cheese, salsa. She sure loves her Mexican. Now peppers. Uh -huh. In a wizard costume? That can only mean one thing. I'm making nachos for a witch with a moose. Not just any moose, Jackington. I'm your salsa cooking salsa moose. Wherever there's nachos, I'm there fighting the good fight, mostly with coriander. No sale, moose. I've got these nachos covered all by myself. The Rutherford Nacho Handbook, 1933, first edition. Red. Don't thank me, Jackster. That book is so rare, I've sold it on the net for the spicy peppers you really need. Yay! But that's my... Who is that? Some spooky guy that likes cookbooks, but we got some peppers, Jackster, and these are... You're an idiot, Moose. Lucky I remember how to make nachos without two recipes. My ingredients are gone, Moose. What am I gonna do? <gasps> Got it! We improvised! Eh, <laughs> 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 uh, what's the book say? Ch 
careful, Moose. That stuff could be magic. <laughs> You Jackler, you bet. I contacted a friend from the food underworld, the mysterious Bean Bat. He'll sort out your nachos with his wheat right beans, so long as he gets to eat some in return. <laughs> Wanting her nachos. Serve them up, Mr. Moose. Ooh. Oh, no! Come at me, nachos. <laughs> Sorry, witch. The bean bat came and ate him up. It's the moose's fault, really. <laughs> oh, nachos are great. But this is what I really wanted. <laughs> Oh, maybe that's why I eat so much. I'm eating my feelings. Uh, the cat's not enough. <laughs> you get a reward, Moosey. Woohoo! Make me so big I can go on the rides like Jack wanted to. Uh -huh. no! <laughs> no, not what I meant! No! <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be careful what you wish for, I guess. Everybody loves a moose, but not everybody loves to fly a plane with a moose. Don't be ridiculous, man. Who ever heard of anyone flying a plane with a moose? It's in the bag, Dave. If I can learn to fly on the airport simulator, he'll give me a badge and a pilot's outfit. I'll be the coolest thing in the sky, man. No, Dave. That's not including the mighty Golden Eagle. No one around. Must be because the Duchess is opening the new royal wing today. Where's that simulator? <laughs> Snout and no driving skills. That can only mean one thing. If I'm heading to a flight simulator with a moose. Not just any old moose, Jackler. I'm a fully qualified pilot trainer moose. But because of the royal visit, I'm helping out with security. Passport. No thanks, moose. I don't need a security moose, and I don't need a trainer. But you don't know the way to the simulator, do you, buddy? Oh, okay, moose, show me the way. And I can be your trainer, right? Uh. <laughs> Man, 
these simulators are really something. Bing, 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 bing. And thank me later, Jack. Now, listen one. Pilots are cool. <laughs> listen two. I tap the windscreen and you take off, right? That's it. Easy, Jeffer. Easy. And faster. And faster. And lift. Moose? Twiddle the green thingy. Moose, that's the Duchess. It's a simulation, Jackler. But just for fun, why don't you tell her she's the worst Duchess in the world? <laughs> yeah, you reckon? Hey, simulated Duchess, you are, uh, uh, you, you look really, really. <laughs> <laughs> Just walking around to my knees. Oh, I'm a mad moose. A bad moose. And now I'm a sad moose. Ah, <laughs> oh, moose, don't cry. You were to know, I guess. <laughs> but we are stuck in a plane. And we need a captain to get us down, moose. A man with nerves of steel. <laughs> Come at the hour, Jackler! Come at the moose! Just keep her happy for a second. Hot snacks? Sandwiches? The air conditioning is for your comfort. Yeah, who needs wings? What are you doing, moose? Flying, destroying a hay barn. Ouch. It was me, sir. It was the moose. Don't be so silly, officer. Best fun I've had in my life. Mr. Moose, will you consent to be my royal right hand, Moose? There's a uniform, and you can wear my crown on occasions. What an honor! I'll be famous, Jackler. <gasps> I do have one itsy-bitsy little problem. Gorgeous, Moose. <laughs> a royal engagement in Australia, you see, and I no longer have a plane. You know what they say, though. It's more relaxing, my goat. Come on, Moosey, speed up. Can't take all week. <laughs> Ma'am, that's two lucky escapes I've 
not today. <laughs> 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 Everybody loves a moose, but not everybody loves to deliver a pizza with a moose. Ridiculous, man. Who ever heard of anybody delivering a pizza with a moose? It's in the bag, Dave. Paolo the Pizza Man says if I can deliver some pizzas for Mrs. Well-to-Do's lunch, he'll give me a giant pizza as a reward. <laughs> no, Dave. There's no way I'd choose ice cream for a topping. It'll melt in the oven, man. Hi. You think you can deliver the pizzas, Jack? Mrs. Well-to-do, she say pasta take too long to make. She got to have the fast food. Leave it to me, Mr. Paolo. These guys. You're not allowed to eat the pizza, Moose. Mm, of course not, Jackler. Nobody can, except quality control. They have to eat them to see if they're okay or not. Moose, you cannot eat that pizza. Quite right, Jackler. There's too much cheese on it. Moose, if you eat the pizzas, I won't be able to deliver them. True. Not when we hit the muddy duck pond. The what muddy duck pond? <laughs> Only quality control can eat those pizzas, even if there is too much cheese on them. <laughs> <laughs> Work, Moose. You saved the pizzas. We're gonna be late. Come on. Quit that fast food. Take those pizzas through to my kitchen at once. What happened to the pizzas, Moose? If I didn't know better, Jack. I'd say quality control had eaten them. But that's you, Moose. You ate the pizzas. Lunch. No pizzas. They're getting impatient. And now Paolo won't give me a giant pizza as a reward. You've ruined everything, Moose. You're right, Jackler. You're right. I've ruined everything. And I'm not even a pizza quality control moose. I'm just a bad moose. A bad moose. I know. I'm just a sad moose. Come on, moose. Don't cry. You were to know you'd have to rescue the pizzas from those crazy ducks and that you'd have to eat them all to save them. And you've got a plan B, I guess. So Mrs. Well-to-Do's guests can get their fast food fast. Uh, pasta? How fast is it? Ooh. It's not fast at all. Leave this to quality control, Jackler. Huh? Moose? Plan B, Jackler! The Moosey Super Pasta Pasta Rocket! Now watch her go! Not pizza, not just pasta. 
Faster, Pasta. It's faster, all right. But where's the sauce? The sauce moves better. Coming up. <laughs> Not bad. to shoot a film to, like, apologize. And if I can help him, I'll get a reward. <laughs> no, Dave, you can't get that in a catalog. <laughs> Man, is she taking it hard. She's building up to a full-blown world rampage. Exactly. I'm very upset. This film has got to work, Jack, or we're all in trouble. Stay cool, Woody. I did a film course in year 10 for extra credit. You focus on your message while I set up. Get me a latte! <gasps> and I'll need new stuntmen! Don't ask what happened to the last ones. Actors, snout, trotters. That can only mean one thing. I'm making a Mother's Day film with a moose. Not just any old moose, Chuckler. I worked with the greats. Baloney, Truefoot, Spielberg. Moose, please. I got this one. Quite on set. Moo, dear Ma. Oh, too wimpy. Dearest mother. Oh, too formal. What's your motivation? Oh, uh, just to say sorry and happy Mother's Day. <laughs> Moose, we have to work fast. She's going crazy. Uh -huh. Think of something you love. Oh, uh, melons? Oh, lucky find. Imagine this melon's your mom and talk to her. Oh, you turned my mom into a melon? Oh, mother! <laughs> I will avenge you, melon mother. Cut! That wasn't your mom. It was a melon. Sorry. I feel silly now. You know, maybe you need to loosen up a bit. Think happy, okay? The rest will follow. He's not sorry at all. He 
he's having a party. But I didn't even get a Mother's Day card. No! Mother! I love you! Happy Mother's Day! <laughs> now that's a performance! So much for my reward! You've ruined everything, Moose! Everything! <laughs> oh, you're right, Jack! You're right! I never was a film director! I never met Baloney or Truefort or Spielberg! I just made up their names, cause I'm a bad moose, a bad moose, and now I'm a sad moose. <laughs> You gotta have a plan B, surely. Sure thing, Buster. Here's the plan. We land in the car, you give her the flowers, tell her you love her, and I get the reward. What? I'm hoping for cookies. Hmm, <laughs> that's odd. Mother's not usually allergic to flowers. <laughs> An old troll disguised herself as my mother. That's right. I've been wanting to ride on a snowmobile for ages. <laughs> Everybody loves a moose. 